right now, and we've seen a lot of it just offshore here, a lot of oil platforms in the Gulf of Mexico, a lot of lightning, a lot of heavy rain coming out of Texas, moving into Louisiana and stretching up into the Midwest. This is really our main feature that we're going to be dealing with as we head over the next several days. We do have energy in the upper levels that's helping, helping fuel this and will fuel mo more storms. I-10, we've got a long stretch here all along Louisiana. New Orleans, this is headed right into you. We have had some heavy rain into Texas here uh, in and around the Galveston area. You've seen the heavier showers, and it's all due in part to not what only is happening at the surface, but also look at these jet winds coming down, sweeping around, and then cutting up into the Midwest for us. And that is our overall big trough in the atmosphere. So you have this big trough like this. Within that, you have cooler air and you have pieces of energy. We have one big piece up here. Can you see it spinning around? Another one coming around the base of this, and another one that's kind of coming out of the uh, four corners, if you will, and dropping down into the southern plains. And so this has not been, and we knew this is what the week was going to be like. It wasn't this kind of well, you know, defined low pressure. It was kind of messy. There's pieces coming in and then ejecting out and then another piece coming in. But that's what's kept us messy through the day and through the week, really. We have the moisture here. This thing is not going to be potent to the point. Yes, we could see maybe a stray tornado, but hail and damaging winds are going to be your biggest issues. As it goes east, notice you have this first batch of rain, and then you're like, okay, what's going on? Why do we have... More rain developing. What's happening here? Remember that energy I was just showing you that's swinging east? That helps kick off more storms, and it is going to do that as we head into our Friday evening. We get a break, by the way, but storms return into Texas as we head towards the end of the weekend. Flooding is certainly a possibility where you see the green, and then everything shifts to the east coast on our Saturday. And then on Sunday, everything's going to be basically drenching New England, Jim. It's going to be pretty wet. It's going to be wet, especially in the morning. Um, yes. Fast forward more than five decades, and we have that and, of course, a lot more. But we are still working, and there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. As we mark the 53rd anniversary of Earth Day, tomorrow we look at the Earth Day is tomorrow. We look at today, we're going to look at two of the young people making a difference to keep our water clean and safe. Meteorologist Felicia Combs has the story. We all can't wait to see what these young ladies do with their lives because they are going to be doing something extraordinary. We know that. Coming up after the break, we discover ways to get the little ones excited about Earth Day this weekend. And don't forget, you can join myself and Jordan Steele for fun, insightful discussions on the latest trends in climate and sustainability on Pattern. It is Monday through Friday noon right here on the Weather Channel. And Jim, we feature stories like this. It's all very uplifting and you oh, learn a gosh. lot from it. Yes, it. I know. I was thinking that they make recycling and you know uh -huh. trash pickup look fun that is what i'm talking about well welcome back to pattern we're making it look fun <laughs> our forests and our oceans do a great job of capturing the carbon di dioxide we emit but right now they can't keep up with the demand no so how do we speed up the carbon cycle letting nature take over that's a good start yeah dr oswald schmitz joins us from yale university with more on this thank you so much for being with us today to talk about this you're part of an international study that focus on the concept of rewilding. So why are plants and animals so critical and so crucial for our carbon cycle? I feel like that it's, it's well, an HOA thing with a lot of these neighborhoods too, that you have to have like the perfectly manicured yeah. lawn. And there was someone in my yeah. sister's neighborhood who had this like wild natural lawn. I was like, it's so pretty, I'd love it. Yeah. But it, you know, you're not allowed to do that everywhere. Some places you're lucky that you can. Let's talk about some of the most effective plants and animals when it comes to storing carbon. Is there a specific plant or two that does it best and an animal that helps the best? Advice, Dr. Oswald. Happy, be rambunctious. Yeah, like be rambunctious. <laughs> Happy Earth Day Eve, uh, Dr. Oswald Schmitz from uh, Yale University. We appreciate you coming on this morning. And it makes sense what he's saying, you know, yeah. just local, local, local type of a thing. I wish we could all just be rambunctious all the time. Yeah, it, it would be nice, but, uh, you know, we can't, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> coming up next on Pattern, it's not a record. And no one's going to listen yeah. until it's... In Not your debatable. face, yeah, yeah, and you can't do anything about it. Tomorrow, the world celebrates Earth Day, but have you ever stopped and wondered why? I wonder why about a lot of things. I wonder why. Earth wonder. Day included. The holiday has helped people better understand the climate crisis, and it's ushered major changes in the U.S. as a result.
Mm. And all these years later, we're celebrating it we're tomorrow. Still, I mean, it, it's kind of a no-brainer. We should definitely be thankful and celebrating and appreciating Earth. Every day. Uh -huh. And be nicer to our Earth. Exactly. One person you can't be mean to because she's just so bubbly and warm all the time, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> I've ever seen true. you in a bad mood or upset with anybody. Oh, I have two daughters you need to talk to. They'll <laughs> say, Mama's not always like that. But today, oh, great guys. Yeah. But again, Friday afternoon with the temperatures getting so warm, a few thunderstorms are possible. All right, Jen. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. have Thank a you. Good, happy Earth Day. Have a good yes, weekend. Yes, you too. <laughs> Thanks. Coming up to, on Pattern on Monday. All right, can you say it? Pecans? Pecans. It's one of those things when someone asks you, you never how you say it, That's right? That's true. Mm -hmm. I say pecan pie, I think. I don't say pecan pie. Pecan. Subway